This week on Who in Taiwan, I'm going to have Natalie and Andrew guess this patriotic leader. Mm. Now, guys, we're just coming out of the elections. This could be anybody. That's right. Could so many anybody. people in the news. Button yes. number one, I have Natalie So. Button number two, I have Andrew Ryan. You guys ready to play? Yes. Ready to play. All right, here we go. Number one. He was born in Shilin, Taipei. His father was an engineer. His father passed away due to a work accident when he was young. He got into Taipei's most prestigious boys' school, Jenguo High School. However, he would later drop out to work to take some financial burden off of his mother. He's a trained pilot. In fact, he's trained in Saudi Arabia. He was one of the first to be trained in the Mirage F-2000-5. Oh, oh. He had a hand in getting Taiwan the F-16Bs, Andrew. This is the military, one of the guys who died in the Black Hawk accident, Aww. Leo, General Leo Shi. Uh, we're actually Leo? talking about Chief of General Staff, Sheng uh, Yes, Yimin. that's right. Sheng Yimin. Aww. Yeah, man, I got the name wrong. And um, so this sad. is him. This picture is of him and his family member. And um, it's kind of unfortunate that we always do who in Taiwan when someone's passed away, when it's me at least. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw the video of his uh, service and this was it just moved me because we think of military general types as these tough, hardened guys. But here you just see another side of him where he has a family. Yeah. Um, in fact, this, was, this is him in full military uniform, posthumously awarded one medal. Uh, but during his career in the military, he actually had three, he got three medals um, and posthumously uh, elevated to the rank of senior general. So right now you see he's got three stars on. This was when he was still in service um, and when he was promoted to have four, a four-star general by President Tsai Ing-wen during mm. the service. Now what happened was, and I want to cover this because mm. we had a lot of election coverage. We didn't really touch on this. So what happened was, a Black Hawk helicopter carrying, I think, five, uh, three crew and ten passengers took off from Taipei Songshan Air Base, uh, and they were headed to Ilan to do some inspection at a radar. Now, when the helicopter got to around Ulai, it crashed 13 minutes after taking off, and eight people were uh, unfortunately did not make it. Five were injured and sent to the hospital. The eight people I have are here. And among them are about five officers. And on the top left, you'll see Shen Yiming right there. Wow. So young, some of them. And so, tra so tragic. That's I mean, right. People only had good things to say about him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, what was really striking for me was watching um, when they had the motorcade through the city. And they had so many cars. And they had people lining the streets. They had people saluting the cars as they went by. It was yeah. really moving. What's, what's even more important is that, you know, we came, uh, uh, came, we're coming out of elections, which is kind of a divisive time for everybody. But you have to remember that when these guys put on the uniform, they fight for country no matter who's in power, no matter who's been elected. So I think this is a great way to salute them and just remember that this kind of happened and it's a very tragic accident. Mm, thank you so much for no that, worries. Leslie. That's a wonderful uh, Who in Taiwan for this week.